Many stars have been observed to expand and contract significantly. They go from very bright to very dim even on a yearly basis. Fortunately for us, however, our star the Sun has an amazing stability. It does not expand and contract significantly like many other stars. If our Sun did expand and contract like these other stars, it would be catastrophic to life on Earth. Some stars will actually explode violently into a supernova. The debris from these explosions are called supernova remnants. According to many evolutionists, this debris should be visible with telescopes for millions of years. According to scientific research, galaxies similar to our galaxy experience a supernova on average about every 26 years. Therefore, if we know approximately how frequently they occur in galaxies similar to ours, the total number of supernova remnants we have in our galaxy should give us an idea of our galaxy's age. In looking for supernova remnants in our own Milky Way galaxy, astronomers have discovered a total of only about 250. So if a supernova occurs approximately every 26 years as we see from these other galaxies, a total of 250 supernova remnants would indicate an age of around 6,500 years for our galaxy. That's almost identical to the Bible's indication of how long our world has existed. Such a small number of supernova remnants points to an extremely young galaxy, definitely not billions or millions of years old, but rather thousands of years old. To put it another way, if evolutionists were correct about the age of the Earth, we would see tens of thousands of supernova remnants in our galaxy, not about 250. In order for us to exist on Earth, our Sun had to be a star with just the right mass and temperature, not too hot or too cold. 